Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be making an integral bolster puko knife, which is a sweet kind of Scandinavian everyday carry, any use kind of knife. Um, one of my favorite types of knife to use and carry. I made it out of a chunk of 52100 high carbon steel. I used the press to isolate the blade and the tang, so I had nice clean transitions, and then forged the rest by hand. When I'm done forging, I normalize the steel in my Gen Ken vertical air bath. Uh, usually I'll let it soak at 1600 degrees for about 10 minutes and then cool down slowly for about an hour or so. So that's a great time to go take some pictures in the garden, uh, grab some lunch, uh, relax for a minute or two. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll work on other stuff in the shop too, but today was a nice time to take a break. It was a nice cool day. When I get back, I use a file guide so that I can grind my bolster nice and flat so the handle will meet up to it nicely. Then quench the steel so it's nice and hard. Then I let it just kind of temper for the rest of the day. So on the next day I grind my bevels. Um, I use a small wheel, I think that was like a three quarter inch wheel to grind my transitions from the blade to the bolster. And then I clean it up with a rotary platen. There was a lot of hand sanding and stuff that I didn't film, um, and a lot of the handle stuff I didn't film while making this video today. Um, but just some general shaping, trying to keep everything nice and centered, grinding the bolster nice and clean. After that, I kind of started fitting up the handle using a one inch scalloped belt finally taking the blade back apart and using a uh, small wheel to fit it up nice and clean. Hand sanded the handle, glued it back together, got it nice and waxed and pretty, sharpened it, dropped it, there we have it. 5200 cleanly finished. The bolster and the spine are etched dark to kind of match the handle and uh, I really like how it came out. It was a fun little project. I will say traditionally Pukos do not have a sharpening choil. This one does. I find it easier with these integral bolster style blades. Uh, an integral style Puko uh, makes it easier to sharpen the blade. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out jayleesknives.com for available inventory. Thanks for watching.